All right, so now that we've been through NumPy and Pandas, uh, we basically know how to work with data tables, for example, and you know just numeric arrays uh, in, in, uh, within Python. We're going to move on to look at data visualization. Um, there are different ways to, and you know, or different packages or extensions or modules to uh, visualize data in Python. Uh, what we're going to focus on predominantly is matplotlib and some other packages that build on top of matplotlib. Um, yeah, there are some other options though. Most of them do make use of matplotlib as kind of the, the base package. Now matplotlib is called that because it's based off of the graphing functionality within the MATLAB software. Um, so if, you're, if you've used MATLAB, you may uh, ha see some similarities here. I actually am not a MATLAB user. I've never used it, so uh, doesn't re that really doesn't help me out. So anyway, we're gonna mainly we're gonna start off and spend most of the examples here focus just on the base matplotlib. But then at the end, we'll also look at Seaborn and pandas, and these just build on top of matplotlib and make it easier to make certain types of graphs. And for pandas, it actually is part of pandas, like we talked about last time. There there's um, some graphing components within pandas. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm loading in here. Um, NumPy and pandas with their aliases as before. Now within within matplotlib, we're specifically using this pi, this pyplot um, module, I believe it should be a module, um, and then we're importing that as plot. Um, so that's common just to import that specific component there, and then this just allows us to get the output in line. This is something you commonly do in notebooks. So um, it prints it in, li in line in the notebook. And then here I'm just changing the default uh, size of the um, plot so that it you know, fits nicely on the page here. All right, cool. So I think that's basically it. So again, I need to select a kernel um, that has matplotlib installed in Seaborn and, and Pandas, obviously. Um, and then, again, if you run these imports, as long as you're in a... In uh, a, an environment that has the packages, it shouldn't give you any errors. Okay, and then I'm going to read in a couple of different data sets. So this first one is the Matt's Movies data set, which we looked at. Uh, we've already used in prior videos. But again, this is just a, a set of movies that my brother curated. That's the movie name, the director, the release year, his rating, uh, the genre, and then whether or not he owns it or not. Um, this county, U.S. County Data 2, this is a data frame of info at the county level. So there's a, a series of, of data, or different, different uh, uh, data points for, for all the counties in the U.S. So specifically we have whether, whether the Republican or Democratic presidential candidate won in 2012 and in 2008. The percent that voted Democrat or Republican, I believe that was in 2012 or other. Um, the population density, the percent of the population greater than 55 years old, the percent of the population that are not that don't identify as, as white or Caucasian, um, uh, percent vacant homes, median income, percent poverty, and then the state that it's inside of, and then the region of the country that it's inside of. Okay, and then. This data set is this High Plains data, and the main the main use of this data will be we have some phys physical variables that I um, summarize on a county by county basis. So we have the percent forest cover that was derived from the National Land Cover Database, the elevation from the National Elevation Data Set, and then the temperature and precip. So um, basically, this is. Uh, um, you know, so this is a percentage. This is elevation, I believe, in meters. Temperature, I believe, in Celsius. And precip, I believe, in millimeters. Um, so um, this is the average elevation across the county, the average mean annual temperature in the county, and this is based on model data from PRISM, uh, University of Oregon, and then the total annual precipitation uh, across the county. Um, so just some like physical variables there. And then lastly, I have this maple leaf. Um, this is we're going to use to make a line graph. But basically, this is um, 
the spectral reflectance of a leaf at different wavelengths. Um, so we're gonna make like a spectral reflectance curve for a leaf. Um, okay, so anyway, there's just some data, and I re we are using modal data sets this time because, um, yeah, there's, it's hard to you know make a bunch of different types of graphs from the same data set. So I just have some different data here that you know we can look at different graphs.